Hi guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to another vlog. I just ended off my last vlog in the same exact spot and I'm starting off a new video. So if you just watched my last vlog and then it rolled into this one, it's the same thing. I am starting off a new vlog for the next couple of days. So welcome back. Today is Thursday, January 18th. It's 11.21 a.m. My birthday, 1121, which is really cool. But <laughs> I... I am about to go for a four mile run this morning. Well, I'm gonna go downstairs. I have a few like little things to do on my computer. I also need to order some stuff on Amazon. Ew, I just got like nauseous. I, I can't even talk about it. I ate eggs this morning. Sometimes I'm like, sometimes I like them and sometimes they just like gross me out. Right now I kind of feel grossed out by them. Like, you know when that happens? Anyway, I need to go downstairs, I need to do a few emails and upload a vlog before I even work out or go on my run or anything. It's 20 degrees today, so it's very cold out. And look how pale I am. I'm getting a spray tan tomorrow, and I like cannot wait. I feel like I just like need it so bad. I haven't got one in a really long time. Really long time, like I haven't got one in a few weeks, honestly. Okay, we have headphones. Are charged. Okay, I'm really confused because I ordered. Well, I didn't order. I was in a store a couple weeks ago and they were ordering me a belt. And I got this letter <laughs> in the mail from FedEx and it says January 9th, 2024. Three attempts, please call. We attempted to deliver your package. However, a signature is required for delivery. And I never got like a note on my front door or anything. Like I literally didn't even know that they had tried to deliver it. So that was really strange. I'm gonna call that number right now. I also have to upload a YouTube video right now. And I wanna get that up. Just so I have everything done and ready, I also need to make myself a little note of stuff that I need to do once I get home. Oh, what the heck? Stuff I need to do. I need to film an Instagram reel. So I filmed this <laughs> reel for a partnership that I'm doing on Instagram. And they wanted me to add like a couple things into the video but it's a, like you can see my nails in the video are clearly a different color than they are now. And so it's like, I now at this point need to just like refilm the whole entire thing instead of just doing a few clips so I can add it into the video, which I'm not complaining like at all about having to do this. I'm just like letting you guys know, <laughs> like this is something that I'm currently doing because I was like, oh yeah, I can like make those changes to the video. I can just take the clips like take a few clips like that they wanted then I was like wait everyone's gonna see that my nails are clearly a different color and then it's gonna be like I don't know so I need to just like refilm the whole entire thing today also I'm gonna call FedEx before we leave I need to send a couple of emails and then I need to send a concept so oh. <laughs> Sometimes like when you do brand deals or like work with different brands They want you to send over like a concept of like what you're gonna do for that sponsorship. So Like detailed they want like a detailed paragraph of like how you're gonna film it how you're gonna implement the product into your Do you hear my dog into your video? which a lot of brands do that. So I need to do a couple of those today. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this stuff and then do all this stuff before we work out. Hi, come on in. Okay, I'm gonna get this stuff done. I'm gonna call FedEx, see where this package is. Hopefully they didn't send it back. Finally done with my work. Okay, gotta get ready for this run. I'm gonna wear this Lulu shirt. I'm wearing Lulu leggings. These are the fast and free. Got my socks on. I'm gonna put one more layer over. I think it's just cold today. I don't think that it's windy, which is good, but who knows? I feel like you won't know until you start running. Also, I am running along the water, so I feel like it's always colder. Oh my God, you guys, I'm done. Whew. Okay, that was my first time running 
four miles since training yeah my first time running four so it was really good i felt great during the whole thing like i can't believe that i just did that 20 degrees out and i was running along the water the whole time and it was so windy like the wind was like my face feels like it has like it feels really has like wind burn on it from just like the wind coming off the ocean the second i hit four miles i stopped because i track all my runs on nike run club and i send them to mike after i finish mike my trainer and i literally hit four miles and stopped it right away and i was like okay since i'm done i'm just gonna walk home because i only had like a little bit left and i should not have done that because i'm like was sweating so much and the second i stopped running i started to get really cold and the fact that like my clothes are wet did not help at all and i got like freezing and then i just like sprinted home i was like oh my god that was not a good idea but I feel good. My breathing feels really good. I switched my headphones from my AirPods to the Bose. I think they're called the Q. Hold on. I'm going to tell you guys what the name of them are. They were so good. And they are called the Bose QC Ultra Earbuds. I think it's the QC stands for Quiet Comfort Ultra Earbuds. They're so good for running like you can't they're noise canceling like you can't hear anything around you like they stay in your ear the sound is so good they never like got disconnected or anything like that and you know when you're wearing headphones and like you almost can like hear yourself stepping like in your ears that didn't happen with these i love them and it was a really great run i'm just proud of myself for doing four miles in like 20 degree weather i feel like if you were to have asked me that a few months ago i'd be like oh my god i would never <laughs> like probably even leave my house on a day like today let alone go outside and run four miles along the ocean so i feel great and yeah basically what i wanted to say was get out there and do something that makes you uncomfortable and do something that your future self is going to thank you for because it just makes you feel so good and another thing i've really realized about running and just like i mean a lot of things in general is that it's very mental and it's so easy to talk yourself out of things in life and it's so easy to say oh i'll do it tomorrow or i'll do it next week or next month but it's like you just gotta do it like you just have to do it and i feel like you can do anything you set your mind to a lot of the things in life are very very mental and we are way stronger than we think that we are and we're capable of so much more than we think so anyway that is my that's my talk i'm gonna start a little timer so i can chill in here for a little bit i'm gonna do like 25 minutes oh, sip on my water and warm up a little bit good morning just got done with a workout i got this stuff off amazon it's like the putty I guess that's what you could call it. Car clean. Oh, it's so gross. Ew, it's like disgusting. I just washed my hands. I have like dust all over my car. It's like one of those, you know, like the ASMR TikToks. People like getting the dust and like cleaning all the stuff out of their like. Yeah, that's what this stuff does, but it's nasty, nasty. But anyway, I just got out of the workout. Grady is next to me. Worked out with Mike. It was very good. I'm going to go pick up my package at FedEx. That I have no idea what it could be. The lady was like, oh, we need your ID. It's probably alcohol. I'm like, what? So, yeah, we're going to go do that right now. We have a lot to do today. A lot to do. I was feeling not sore. I'm not sore at all from my run yesterday. My body's just like more tired. So today my, I could feel my legs. I was like, oh, they're just tired today. But it felt good to get it done and start off the day. And I have a few appointments today, just things to do. And I'm like, was doing girl math. <laughs> I need to stop with these trends. Like I go on TikTok too, too much. I'm like thinking to myself this morning, I'm like, okay, girl math. I am gonna go get a pedicure and then I'm gonna have this much time before I go get my spray tan. Like, can I not? But yeah. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna drive. No vlogging and driving and 
I'll be back. Hi, you guys. I just got home from spray tan, pedicure. Honestly, I went to the place that I usually go to, which is like near my house, earlier to get a pedicure. After I got back from the gym, I like had to shower, eat lunch. Well, I went to FedEx and I had to get that package. It was like this whole thing. And because I wasn't just going to like a local FedEx down the street, I had to go to like the headquarters. And it was like literally barbed wire everywhere. There was nowhere around, no one around. It looked like I was at a prison. <laughs> like it was so crazy. And I ended up getting my package, which is good. So now I'm just starting to pack. I have a few things in my office that I need to bring upstairs so I can start like planning outfits. I'm gonna plan outfits. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer to try it on. Like my spray tan's being weird. I don't know, usually it's not like this. I feel like maybe it was like too close <laughs> to me, like the gun thing that they use. And I just feel like, I don't know, it's like still like weird on my body. It's not like dry. And I don't want it to transfer on my clothes. I'm gonna start the packing process now just because I don't wanna be like super stressed out later trying to like put stuff together. Tonight I wanna to be able to like relax and chill and have dinner and like watch a movie or, you know, like I just don't wanna to have to worry about like packing and being up until really late doing that. So I'm gonna start right now. I guess first things first, I have this huge box of bikinis right here. This is my little old toy box and clearly we don't use it for that anymore. But I just have a ton of bikinis in it because honestly, like I didn't really know where to put my bikinis when I moved to this house. I just haven't found a place for them. I mean, obviously it's not summer anymore, so I haven't needed them, but they've just been in this box. So I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna pick out how many days am I gonna be there? Saturday. I don't know if I need one for Saturday, but Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Six days, six bikinis. I'm gonna bring this one just in case. I'm gonna look through these and pick some out right now. <laughs> We've secured the bikini selection. I feel like whenever I travel anywhere, I feel like my bikinis all need to be like cohesive. The vibe, the color. And I'm gonna use this little pouch. These just come when you buy triangle bikinis, but I love like putting my sunscreen and all my like beach things in it like my i usually put my camera my sunscreen my lip balm and i throw this into my beach bag so i'm gonna bring this little brown zebra textured cute and then i have a bikini from inamorata this is emirata's brand i literally got this bikini five years ago and it's still one of my favorites and we have this one right here by this brand. I've never worn this before. I actually got this for my trip to Miami last year and it never came in time. So it's going to be my first time wearing it. This one I got a few years ago from Tropic of Sea. Hunza G, one piece, cute, comfy. This is Heavy Manners. Love Heavy Manners bikinis. This one's from Gonza. I also got this like years ago and it has a little matching sarong. So I'm gonna bring that. 437 and this one right here, I believe is actually another Gonza bikini. So that is what we're bringing. Oh, and then I have a few hats. We have this Jacques Mousse hat. This is a little crochet hat from Memorial Day, which I thought was really cute. And then this one's also from Memorial Day which I thought would look cute with like the brown swimsuits. This is always the worst part about packing. <laughs> like now I don't wanna go. This is like why I don't ever wanna leave and go anywhere because I'm just gonna miss you so much. And it makes me so sad when you lay on my clothes like that. I'm gonna start trying things on soon. I just like hope my spray tan doesn't transfer since it's I just hope my spray tan doesn't transfer since it is starting to develop. I feel like I can't talk. It's like looking crazy, but at least it feels dry. <laughs> and I'm gonna start trying on some fits. I have basically everything that I wanna bring like figured out and ready. I just like need to make sure I'm bringing the right amount of stuff and like not bringing too much. That's why I like to try on my outfits before so I have like an exact idea of 
what I'm gonna be packing and what I'm actually gonna wear when I'm away. showered off my spray tan it looks so good i'm drinking a glass of wine right now and it's making my whole entire mouth red but like my lips and my tongue ignore but anyway like the parts of my neck that were all splotchy came off in the shower and it was like so satisfying seeing all of the water <laughs> like it literally turns like orange and you're just like sitting there and then i just got out Put moisturizer all over feels really good i feel so clean and cozy and ready for bed also i took my face washes and i filled up my little mini like travel size thingies and i have like my shampoo and conditioner body wash i haven't put my skincare in there yet but just like little things i packed a razor menage stuff like that and then tomorrow morning i'll pack all of my skincare like once i'm done doing my full routine and my cosmetic toiletry case is from bays and then i packed all my other stuff this is my carry-on that i'm bringing with me it has like my laptop i'm a pouch person when i travel i like to put things individually in pouches this is my makeup my makeup brushes in here i have all my supplements electrolytes stuff like that and here's my jewelry, my sunglasses, and this one has all of my electronic things that I need, like my chargers and stuff like that. These are from Dairy Boy, these two cases. This one's from With Jean. This is obviously Louis Vuitton, and then this is just a little Kosas thing with my makeup brushes. And then we have a laptop. And then on this side, I have a speaker, my belt that I'm bringing, and then I have headphones and the two bags that I'm bringing with me. And then also I have all of my clothes packed up in there. I'm just waiting for a few more things to be done. I have a bunch of workout clothes that are drying right now. So I have to wait until those are dry in the morning and then I'm gonna pack everything up and I'm basically done. So, and one thing I do when I travel is I will, like I said earlier, like I like to try on all my clothes before I pack because I picked out so much stuff. Like I was literally digging through my buckets of summer clothes, like pulling everything out. And I was like looking at my bed, I'm like, I feel like I have a lot of clothes Like I don't need to bring this much with me. I know I'm not gonna wear all of it. So I tried on specific outfits and I ended up like putting back so much stuff that I pulled out to begin with and what I did was took outfits like outfit <laughs> pictures I don't know if you guys can see but just like took outfit photos of specific outfits that I put together like things that I wanted to wear so when I get there I can like I have everything in my camera roll and I know like what i'm gonna wear with certain pieces and stuff like that so yeah morning you guys we were up bright and early this morning right milo <laughs> and the flight's delayed so i'm still gonna probably get to the airport early that's what emma said so i'm getting ready right now and well i'm not gonna get there exactly at the time i was gonna because our flight used to be at 11:40. And it boards at 11, would board at 11.05. I was going to get there at 10.30. I literally like get there right before my flight. And I have TSA pre-check. So I always just trust it. And I like get there and I just walk right through. So, well, I'm starting to get ready now. I just took a really nice bath. And I did all my laundry. So everything's done for when I get home. I'm just packing some workout clothes right now. I have like a sniffle this morning. I don't know why. I'm like, hopefully 
Hopefully I'm okay traveling and I'm not under the weather. The one thing I actually need to bring, I need more like t-shirts. I feel like I don't really have like shirts to work out in. I might get one more little jacket or something out of my closet. I think I'm gonna bring this little Aritzia zip up and then hopefully that's good. <laughs> Hopefully we're good Milo. Oh, I have all my workout clothes in my packing cube guys I've been using packing cubes for years. I feel like if you've been watching my videos for a long time You'll know ooh, How much I rely on packing cubes when I travel Because it makes it so easy to pack up all your stuff like I have all my day outfits my night outfits Socks and underwear. This is the outfit. I'm gonna wear on the plane home. I just have comfies which I don't have another packing cube, so that stuff is just gonna have to stay like that. Okay, we're gonna put this one right in here. And we're gonna put this right here. Another little comfy, comfy. And then I have my sleep clothes. I'm actually gonna put my little sleep clothes in this pocket right here. I have all my little t shirts. I sleep in Brandy Melville tank tops. And then also these like little shorts from Aritzia. They're just like little TNA shorts and I always sleep in them. Okay, perfect. We're all packed up and ready. I'm gonna add one more sweatshirt just in case. I have to go get my lotion from the tanning salon in, oh my God, not my wrist, in the car. I left it in the car by accident. So I have to go get that and then I'm gonna pack up my toiletry bag we have our carry-on i think i honestly am putting my toiletry bag in my carry-on because i'm so weird about your bag like not showing up you know i've heard so many stories how about that knock on wood <laughs> i'm superstitious but i've heard so many stories about that that i'm like i don't know i feel like I wouldn't know what to do without like my skincare. Sorry, my battery just died. But anyway, yeah, I just feel like, I don't know. I'm going to bring everything with me and pack all my stuff up. Well, finish like zippering, obviously, my suitcases and all that. I like do have to leave in a couple of minutes. And I'm like, I don't want to go so early. And I don't know what it is. I feel like, I don't know. I'm just starting to like not feel good. Obviously, I'm sniffling and it's freaking me out. And like, I woke up this morning and had a really bad stomach ache. And I like never, I feel like I never feel like this. I think I'm getting my period. My body just feels like, well, I know I am. My body just feels like, you know, that feeling that you get like a few days before. But yeah. We are in Miami and I'm just so happy to be here. It's like so sunny out and warm. And we're here for the next almost week, not a full week, but almost a week. It feels so nice. Em and I are gonna get ready right now. We ended up sleeping in. We just got in late last night. Our flight ended up getting delayed like five hours. <laughs> so we were supposed to get here at four in the afternoon. And we ended up getting here. Oh, I swear, we just keep getting knocks at our door and we keep getting. Hello. What day do you guys have available for just like a massage? Okay, great. Thank you so much. You too. Bye. This hotel's like so attentive. They just, the spa just called me because when I had booked the reservation, I said that I wanted to do a spa. Like, I. I wanted to do a massage at the spa and the spa called me to book it but i don't know like what we're gonna be doing yet so i don't want to book anything also i was like telling emma that i booked the hotel through amex travel and i always will do that and they like take such good care of you so if you have an amex you have to take advantage of booking like flights hotels through amex travel and they give you like a bunch of things included. Like you, we get free breakfast every day. I think we get like $100 resort credit to use. We got free drinks when we checked in yesterday from the bar, like any drink. They gave us complimentary cocktails. They upgraded our room for us. Like they just do 
so much and it's so nice oh also we're staying at the one hotel which i feel like every time we're at the beach we stay here we're staying here for a few days and then we're switching over to another hotel in a couple of days but yeah so i want to give you guys a little room tour this is when you walk in graydon's also coming today so it's nice that we have a it's like such a big room there's like a closet space right here and then you have these curtains so you can like shut it and this is right when you walk in, we have a little powder room right here. And then a little island with a bar. It's really nice because at the one hotel, they have one of these in every single room and you can fill up your water bottle. I'm so mad that I forgot to bring my water, but they do give you a few of these waters that you can like reuse, which is nice. So. It's just nice always having water. I feel like that's the one thing when I stay at hotels that I'm always like, oh my God, we need to get water. We need to order them. But it's nice that you can like fill your water up right over there. And then we have a couch right here, which Em and I ordered room service last night, which was so good. And we sat on the couch and we like watched TV and we have a balcony and this area is just like a little desk and TV, obviously. And then going into... We have the bathroom right here, and then this is the bedroom, and we have another big closet space right here. Em and I already started like unpacking all of our stuff, so it's all organized. And uh, yeah, that is the little room tour. I actually got a package shipped to the hotel and there's something in it that I really want to wear today. I ordered from Forward and their shipping comes in like two days. It's super fast to begin with, but I ordered it on, I think Wednesday night or Thursday. No, maybe Thursday night. And it was supposed to come Friday and it ended up not being able to come till Saturday. So I called them and I just had them ship. <laughs> My package to the hotel but i honestly just ordered like a couple of <laughs> little workout tank tops which this one's dirty but i got this like little beyond yoga tank which i thought would be cute for workout down here i like don't i realize i don't really have that many tank tops i just have a lot of sports bras and stuff so i wanted to get that oh i did order i'm pretty sure two of the same yeah, I accidentally ordered two of these Beyond Yoga full-on pant onesie things. I love Beyond Yoga. Like, the material is just so soft and nice. So, I wanted to wear this today because it is a little bit cold today. Today's going to be, like, the coldest day. And then the rest of the days are going to be, like, 75, 80. But today, I think it's, like, in the high 60s. Oh, and then I got an SPF lip balm because obviously you have to put sunscreen on your body, but a lot of people forget about their lips. And like the worst feeling is getting a sunburn on your lips or like after you leave the beach or you're out in the sun all day and your lips are super dry. I ordered one from Mullen and Goats or Mullen and Getz. I love their lip balm, SPF 30. And then I just got a pair of white jeans. And I'm pretty sure that is all. Oh, and a tank top. <laughs> Am I okay? Okay, I was worried about this tank top because honestly they only had an extra small left and it looks like it's going to fit perfect. So a little totem tank top and these are my favorite jeans. I've been wanting to get them in the white. Look, I got the Mesa Margiela jeans in white. Okay, cool. <laughs> so that's my haul. Oh, we got to go get ready. We're going to go get coffee and go get food and go walk around and go for like a little walk or something. Em and I are wearing little, <laughs> our little outfits today. We're matching. I just opened up the door outside and I was like, it's so cold. I have to put on a little sweater. So I'm not walking around looking like a crazy. I got this little sweater from American Vintage. American Vintage. Those are so cute. I'm pretty sure that these are in season. Yeah. Oh my god. The orange peel theory. 
We just came to Joe and the Jews for a little lunch. I got the spicy tuna. I didn't add avocado. I'm kind of scared by avocado right now. Emma and I are in the dressing room right now at Kith, but we're trying on these sweatshirts if you remember, if you know, you know. That time that we got those sweatshirts from Kith that like zipped all the way up, like the really big oversized ones that we'd wear all the time in 2019. I like want the same, it's like the same material, but obviously this one doesn't have a hood. I like the neck, I how you can zip neck. it all the way up. This neck is like my favorite neck right now. Me too, and then I also am going to get this hat, you guys. <gasps> I wish I had orange. Like look at this little hat. Obsessed. Wait, can I try that hat on? Yeah. It was a success at Kith. Emma and I are both getting the sweatshirts. Emma decided to size up too. So comfy. Yeah. And then they have a lot of good Daniel Rizzio stuff. Emma's gonna get. And then I'm also gonna get a little workout set. And my hat and my little sweatshirt. Hey y'all, going to dinner. This is the outfit of the night. My skirt's from J. Crew. And then I just have on these little like flip-flop heels, white tank, gonna bring a sweater because it's frigid out, and my little Chanel that doesn't even fit my lip gloss or my vlog camera. But rest assured, I have someone who's gonna help me. Howdy. He's like, let's go get a fucking drink. Me and Emma just I'm made him serving. take 700 photos. All you photos. have to is jerky and pretzels. No. He's like, I need a quacky. I need a fucking quacky. My dress is from Rat and Boa. Love. Oh okay, well, we're going to Nobu tonight. I'm very excited because I'm. I really want a mango martini, a mango. Since my little digital couldn't fit in my bag, I gave it to Graydon and I said, This whole trip, you're in charge. Oh my god, you're in charge. This thing's so fun. I know, right? So like the whole time, and I have a brand new memory card in there so we can take a ton of pictures. <laughs> the digital diaries, follow along. <laughs> Damn. Guys, we made. Oh, Graydon, what are you doing? We made a TikTok, like to one of the old TikToks that we made in 2020 when we were here at this hotel. We did like a Gossip Girl TikTok and it was like. Dun 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 dun. Chuck, damn, Gossip Girl. We remade it tonight. Grady and I are on our way to the lobby. These doors right here like automatically open every time we walk by them and it's so scary. We're going to the lobby to pick up our go puff. You can't even see me because it's- Hi. <laughs> Graydon ordered a ton of snacks for what reason, my love? You gonna eat them all? Because I want a fucking midnight snack. So that's why we're going. So she like doesn't fill me up. I was gonna say that. I need snacks. All I had all day was a tuna cotto and sushi. Oh. Sushi never fills me up. Good morning, you guys. Em and I went to. There he is. Good morning. Ready? Here, come sit. Here. Graydon just finished up at the gym and met us at breakfast. We just got back to the hotel. Em and I went to, sorry if it's loud in here. What? Em and I went to an 8.30 hot Pilates class this morning with our friend Chelsea and it was so good. I'm like freezing because I feel like my sweat, we like sat outside and had coffee after at Perdita. And I'm like still wet, like my clothes, and I'm like freezing, but it's okay. <laughs> we got, just got back and ordered breakfast. Graydon and I got the frittata. I haven't tried it yet, I've only had bacon. And then Emma got an omelet, that looks good. Yum, and we got fresh squeezed orange juice. The workout was really good. You would have hated it. I would not say it's so No, I was like, Graydon, you're gonna look. 
I thought you would love it until I was like, wait, I couldn't picture you doing the little movements. Like, I don't think you would have fit on the mat. Yeah, you wouldn't have fit on the mat. Like, you would have been too big for the room <laughs> that we were in. Yeah, you probably would have kicked someone in the face. Shopping day. Well, greetings. I know. Shopping the day. tables have turned. Usually I find nothing, but today I found. Wait, show them what you bought. Things. I really love. I got this little chromie charm. Cute. And, and you got a shirt from I got a, just a t shirt to wear tomorrow to Chipriani. Yep. Period. And now we're at Contessa for lunch. Emma and I got a Gossip Whispering Angel. Graydon got it. What was it called? It's a Cosmo. Oh. Cheers, love ya. Cheers. Ah, when in Miami go to a restaurant that's in Boston? When in the bear. When yeah, when in Miami go to a restaurant that we have literally down the street in Boston. Some pickled cabbage. Ooh, on thank top. you. Yum. And also we have the burrata with some preserved tomatoes and basil. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Oh my god, uh, look what we have here. Our little dinner. We're staying in tonight because I feel like we're going. We're savages, probably. That's probably why. Yeah, we're going out like every night. So we we're like, you know what? Let's just chill. I like don't feel like getting ready. So also, we ordered room service <laughs> and we got burgers, little side salads. We have chicken and fries. These are my favorite fries. Oh my god, look at the Swiss. And we got obviously waters, Diet Coke, and I'm so excited to eat. Hey y'all, we moved hotels. We're in a new hotel now. We're ready to party. <laughs> we're going out to dinner right now and we're really excited, you know. We're going to Cipriani and I kind of have beef with them. So we're gonna see. Because the martinis are small. They're this In New York, big. it was like this big. And so we don't, know what, we don't know what this one's gonna be like. But I like the one in Miami, so. Well, we'll tell you how it goes. But here's the little outfit of the night. My hair's been drying really weird here. Like, I don't know, it feels like dry right now. But this is what I'm wearing. Uh, I am just wearing a charcoal t-shirt that I like tucked under. And my jeans are from Girlfriend. And then just wearing black heels. I'm wearing like a lot of jewelry tonight. I did like these massive Jennifer Fisher hammered hoops and my two necklaces. And that's the outfit for tonight. Just very comfy and chill. Oh <laughs> my, not our room being a mess. I was like, wait, we can't? We're not gonna unpack because we're only here for two nights. And look at all of our stuff. Card. Look at the flick of the wrist. Okay, great in. Look at the flick of the flick. My love. Look at the flick of the flick. In charge of that. I'm gonna have to carry the vlog camera out tonight. And let's go. It's yo bestie. Good morning. Just getting ready to go downstairs and sit by the pool for a little. Oh, we can't forget our hats, Sweden. Let's go to the beach each. Can't forget our hats to go to the pool. Wait, everybody was telling me they were, we put them on backwards. They're supposed to be like this. I wore mine like that. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know. We got crispy. Do you think they're still good? Yeah. We got crispy creams last night. Dun, da, da, da. Oh. Ooh, I'm gonna have one. Do you want half? I want this one. I ordered them on Uber Eats, and it, it took them two hours to get here. <laughs> What I love about this is that the bottom is glazed, or it's like a glazed donut with the frosting. Mm -mm -mm. So they give us these water bottles, and I added the electrolytes that you guys obviously know that I love. The and test. yeah, and it looks like you're drinking like a Cosmo. <laughs> Like, you know those pre-made, like, bottled cocktails? Okay, they're better when they're iced. No, I like it. Oh, okay, good. It just tastes like watermelon and water. Yeah. They're really good. I love them. But I was, like, walking around yesterday with my glass water bottle, and I feel like people were, like, 
girl what are you drinking over there